What up, though, heist man, the foe, talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man, how the tables have turned. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, man, I'm talking about Dr. Umar Johnson. If y'all don't know who Dr. Umar Johnson is, he is a pan-African black activist. He always talking about the empowerment of black men and, you know, right on brother and all this stuff. Um, he's pro-black. That does not mean anti-white, but he's pro-black. And I, you know, I kind of took a liking to him because he was talking about doing big things for the black community. And, you know, he wanted to build a school, a black school. And I was down for that. I'm like, yo, that's pretty dope. You want to build a black school, um, black owned, black operated, black teachers and all this stuff. And I was just like, yo, why he not getting nobody to help him? He needed $2 million, he said, to get this school off the ground. And nobody came out to help him. I was like, yo, why, where, where Oprah at? Where Jay-Z? Where Diddy? LeBron? People like that. Why they, why they not helping this man with this school? Um... I just I never understood it. Like two million dollars is a lot of money, but it's not a lot of money to them, especially when it's going to a right cause. But like for I think five, six, seven years ago, he did an interview with the um Breakfast Club and he said he don't want nobody with mixed race kids going to his school. I mean he don't want no mixed kids going to the school. If you have a white spouse, you can't um work at the school. And if you're white, you can't work at the school. So when he said that, I automatically just cut him off. I just shut down right then. Like, ah, you spewing weight, um, hate rhetoric and stuff like that. I don't want to mess with you like that, man. Because I feel like you was testing my um, blackness or questioning my blackness, me personally, by saying those statements. So I just, you know, I cut him off. Because um, I have a um, white spouse and a hundred mixed kids, you know. So I feel like, like, man, bro, how you going to... You, like I can't work I, like not me personally but when he made that overall statement saying that it was like oh I feel like a, a personal dig at me but I say the tables have turned because he did an interview with the breakfast club um this past Friday um Dr. Umar Johnson did an interview and they asked him the same questions like they asked him last time they asked him about the school and DJ Envy he asked him like yo what's up with the school how you doing with the school and all this stuff and Dr. Umar, he went on to say that um, the school is about to, you know, about to start popping. It's about to be on and popping. It's in full effect. So they finally found the building. Um, they could never um, raise the money. But now guess who came and helped him with the money? The white man. You see? He said he got the white man helping with the money. I was like, oh, okay. Okay, now now you need him now, huh? Okay. But um, he said, like, the building was messed up and stuff like that. And they had to, you know, he had his peoples to do it. People that he can trust, you know, he felt like he can trust, which were black folks. And he said, you know, they put the con in construction, construction. You know, he said they conned him, you know, they took his money and stuff. And he said he hired a white man to do the construction on the building. And he said the white man, um, he said, well, they did in three months. The black people couldn't do in three years. So I was like, oh, see the tables turn, you know. Like I usually do um news clips, random news and stuff like this. This is not a news story. But I just wanted to do this to say ha ha. Ha ha to Dr. Umar Johnson. Because you needed them peoples, didn't you? You see? That's why, you know, you kind of clownish with that, man. Like, I, I was all for it. I was down for you. Right on. Black school. Then he said, you can't be white and work at the school. I'm like, okay, I ain't white. He said, you can't have a white spouse and work at the school. I'm like, oh, so you can't have white um, mixed kids and they can't attend the school because he want all black. But now he's changed his whole story around. You see, I remember that. You see, I remember what he said five years ago because that would turn me away from him. You see, when he came back and did this, it was like, oh, OK, I see what you're doing. But big shout out to him, man, getting that school up and popping. I guess, you know, um, that's his thing he want to do. He's been talking about it for so long. Everybody thought he wasn't going to do it. Everybody thought he was going to do it. They thought he took the money and ran off on the plug, you know, but he didn't. He, you know, he kept the money he didn't have at all. But I see why those people did not help him. They didn't want to stand behind that and that stuff he was spewing out, you know, all that hatred he was spewing out. Because my wife told me he was um, a racist. I'm looking like, oh, nah, that's just, he just black power, black power. And I was like, oh, no. Hey, man. Yeah, kind of racist. I don't know, man. I ain't going to say that about the man like that. But, yo, you see what I'm talking about, man. We talk about stuff like this every Friday. I just got to come through and holler at me, man. We're going to get into that, though.
every Friday at 9 p.m. Just come through Holly. Hit the like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit. And holler at your boy. Heist man the foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto news and opinions. Peace. All right. This time. But I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.